Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about artist statements and how to construct a good artist statement in order to get into a, an art exhibition. So there's no need for a long intro or anything, so let's just get started. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm just going to be painting while I talk because it just seems like a bit less formal and that's the way that I want to do this video. So. so writing a good artist statement can be a bit difficult if you didn't go to art school or you don't have a background in art history, but honestly, it's definitely something you can do. So let's talk about what an artist statement is first. In its simplest terms, an artist statement is just a supporting document written by the artist that explains what the artwork is about. So in my personal opinion, a well-written artist statement has a balance of academia and emotion. So what do I mean by that? Art usually doesn't come from an academic place. It comes from an emotional place. We see something or feel something or experience something and then we make art about it. We do not usually start reading an academic journal and then decide that that's what we're gonna make art about. I've definitely seen people make artwork about academic topics. All I'm saying is that initially that's not usually the reason why people make artwork. It's usually based on an emotional side or something has resonated with you and that's why you make artwork about it. Because it comes from this emotional place, I see so many people talking about the emotional side of it and only the emotional side of it. And you don't want to do this. You want to balance it out with some academia. So something that you can include in your artist statement is referencing a novel or academic text that supports the idea that you're talking about in your artwork. You can include a quote from the reference you're using. Just make sure that you credit the author. Some people might actually be surprised to know that a lot of artists reference other novels or texts in their artwork. So for example, Jean-Michel Basquiat reference Grey's Anatomy a lot. So Grey's Anatomy was basically anatomy, an anatomy book that he had in the hospital with him when he was a child and got hit by a car. Or at least that's how I think the story goes. And his mom brought him the book Grey's Anatomy and he would read it all the time. So that's why there's like a lot of anatomy references in his work. So try to take that as an example and relate it to your work. Is there a text that you feel has heavily influenced your work or something that has just influenced your life and you've brought into your work? Try to start thinking about it like that. Also, it'll make the writing process go easier and more enjoyable if you actually reference something that you are passionate about instead of just like picking anything random that you haven't read and you've seen a quote from that you're just gonna include in your artist statement. Try to pick something that resonates with you and that has meant a lot to you in your life that you've read. So that's something I like to do a lot when I'm writing artist statements because I feel like when you're applying to exhibitions and the jury sees that you are referencing texts or novels or getting your information from somewhere else other than your own personal experience, they start taking you more seriously, they start taking your ideas more seriously, and you will be more considered to be in that show instead of someone who's only basing things off of their personal experience. Something else that is incredibly helpful is to talk about what artists or art references that you're making. You can even talk about different art movements if you want to, and if you feel like that is applicable to your artwork. You don't have to be a crazy art historian to start talking about art history. You just have to do a little bit of reading. Don't feel self-conscious or feel like you don't know what you're talking about. If you don't know where to start with this, I suggest looking at artists that you already look up to and that are some of your favorite artists. So see who they're referencing. So maybe one of your favorite artists is referencing Matisse and you start looking at Matisse's work and then you figure out, wow, I actually really like these. Try to break down what those artists are doing and who they're referencing. Sometimes they may even say who they're referencing in interviews or podcasts. And then you can literally go look up those artists and see if that is like applicable to your artwork. Something else you can talk about in your artist statement is what your intention is with the artwork. So for example, if it's made to make people feel uncomfortable or be aware of their own mortality. Just be very specific with this. Talk about what part of the artwork is doing this 
and ask yourself seriously, did you do this successfully? Otherwise, if you feel like you did not do this successfully, I would not talk about the intention of the artwork in your artist statement. Something that I like to include in my artist statement that I don't always see all the time in other artist statements is how you basically kind of came up with the idea of what you've made and why you're making what you're making. Make sure you have a connection to the work. If you're painting or drawing something that you don't care about or you don't have any connection to, I don't know how other people are supposed to care about it in the same way. You have to care about it. You have to care about what you're doing in order for other people to care about what you're doing. So to keep it as simple as possible, an artist statement is just a written statement describing what the artwork is about. Be sure to sound professional, be sure to sound confident in yourself. One time I actually got one of my professors to read my artist statement and just to, you know, give me some tips because I was applying for something. And he basically said that the way that I wrote, I didn't sound confident in what I was doing. And when I read it back, I was like, wow, he's right. I would just say things like, I think this, or I think that, or I think I could do this. No judge or anyone wants to hear what they think you could do. They want to hear you say, I am doing this. So make sure that when you're actually writing this statement, you're writing in a confident way that you can actually do and deliver the things that you're saying that you can. Also, just like a side note, what I recommend doing is whenever you go to an art exhibition is to take a picture of the artist statement. So I do this if I don't have enough time to read that artist statement when I go into the exhibition or there's like too many people there. That doesn't happen now because I don't go anywhere, but... <laughs> If there's too many people there, then I would take a picture and make sure I could read it later and then see how well written the artist statement is and see if it is representing the work well. Does the artist statement and the artwork actually go together? Am I picking up what the artist actually wrote in their artist statement? Or do I feel like the artist statement doesn't even represent the work at all? Like, if I were to read the artist statement without looking at the work, would I be able to imagine what the work would be about? I ask myself these questions all the time because I think actually like a lot of the time there is a disconnect between the artist statement and the artwork. Or sometimes I look at artwork and I'll read the statement afterwards and be like, I, that's not what I picked up at all. I think it's good. Go take a picture, just see what someone else is writing about, and then see if they actually represented the work well with what they've written. Also, it's good to just look at what someone has written their artist statement, who they're referencing, who they're talking about, and see maybe it is applicable to your own work. Maybe you really liked the artwork and you want to explore more and see who they're referencing and research more. It's good for those reasons. I think this is super obvious, but I feel like I have to say it anyway. Do not plagiarize anyone's artist statement. Just because I'm telling you to go and look at other people's artist statements, that does not mean that I'm telling you to go and copy someone else's artist statement. I'm telling you to look and see what they've included, who they're referencing, what their work is about in terms of researching, what is applicable for you and your situation. If you plagiarize and somehow the jury finds out or someone finds out, you will be automatically disqualified from the exhibition. And the jury doesn't forget things like that. So if you are applying for something else in the future and someone on that jury was on that past jury that you plagiarized in, you probably won't get into that either. <laughs> And word gets around, do not destroy your career before it even begins. So do not copy someone else's artist statement. Don't even copy like a sentence from it. I would say don't, not even a phrase. Make it your own, okay? And make it unique to you. That's the best part about writing an artist statement and about art in general is that it's so personal and even the way we write is unique. So make it your own. Even if you're referencing the same artist or text, make sure that you know you do it in your own way. Also something that I think is extremely important is an artist statement isn't the be all end all. If you write a statement, it doesn't mean that you have to use it for like ever. <laughs> I change my artist statement like a bare minimum of like once every two or three months and I just, I rewrite it and 
I think it's important to do that because as you grow, your artwork changes. I think it's important to keep your artist statement updated. Just because you're referencing something in an artist statement you made three months ago, maybe you feel like, you know, there's something else that you found that made more sense in the artist statement. You don't have to keep old references if it doesn't make sense and if your work is changing. So don't feel like you have to do that. And don't put so much pressure on yourself either. It's just a statement. It matters. But at the same time, don't take it so seriously that you feel paralyzed and you can't write. You know, you are the best person who can talk about your work. You could talk about it more confidently and know more about it than anyone else does. So own it, you know, own the statement, own what you're writing, feel good about it. If you guys have any questions about anything I just talked about, uh, please feel free to leave comments down below. I feel like there's definitely some things that I probably missed, but honestly, it's like an artist statement is such a big topic that I could probably go on about it forever. I don't know, if you guys have more questions, I'm happy to answer them. I'm all about sharing information and I just want my YouTube channel to be like a place where I can share information and you guys can share information too and we could just talk about things. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. All right, that's going to be it. Uh, bye.